tonight for the National League. Six runs, ten hits, and no errors. The American League, five runs, six hits, and no errors. And Dick Farrell of the Houston Astros is on now to pitch a flame-throwing right-hander who has won seven and lost two. Threw against Ernie Banks of the Chicago Cubs was accidentally struck on the back of the head with a line drive in the ball game at Wrigley Field in Chicago. It interrupted his uh, pitching streak for a while. But nonetheless, he's back in form. He has a fine ERA at 2.30. And defensively, now, Roberto Clemente, who is probably one of the greatest right fielders in all of baseball, will be in left field in place of Willie Stargell. So defensively, uh, Clemente in left, Willie Mays in center, Henry Aaron in right. Ron Santo at third, Wills remains at uh, short with Rose at second, Ernie Banks at first, and Farrell becomes the fifth pitcher. Just to set it quickly, Marichel went three, then Maloney for an inning and two-thirds, Drysdale and Koufax, and now uh, Dick Farrell. Pappas, Grant, Rickard, and McDowell. That's the story, 6-5, as we go to the bottom of the seventh, and you hurt. All right, Bob and will be a pinch hitter here for McDowell. Tony Oliva of the Minnesota Twins will bat for McDowell. Oliva, the American League's Rookie of the Year last year when he led the American League in batting. Tony, uh, so far this year in the American League season, batting at 287. Farrell, the right-hander, delivers, and it's a strike call on one. On deck for the American League is Brooks Robinson with Harmon Killebrew to follow. The National League leading now 6-5 to five as we start the last half of the seventh inning. 31-year-old right-hander Dick Farrell. Into the windup, delivers. Swung on a high, bouncing ball out to Rose. He's got it, throws the first base, and he got him on a close play by just about a step. One of those big, high-bounding balls, and it's Rose to Banks, second to first for the out to get Oliva. And here's Brooks Robinson, who has played all the way today. The Baltimore third baseman has one hit. He singled off Ron Santos' glove in the fifth inning. One for three. Farrell delivers. Outside, ball one. Farrell works rapidly. Delivers just outside. Ball two. One out, nobody on in the American League seventh inning. Farrell uses just an abbreviated windup. Delivers and Robinson pops a foul off first base. Ernie Banks will have a play on it, and he has it. Two down as Robinson fouls out. And now Harmon Killebrew, who pulled a long home run with one on in the fifth inning to tie the ball game up. Dick Farrell, originally signed by the Philadelphia Phillies, now with the Houston Astros, out there for the National League, on the mound. Dick uh, had polio as a youngster, and he still does a lot of work in behalf of polio victims. Here's the pitch to Killebrew, a strike call on the outside corner. 0-1. And the pitch is low and outside, 1-1. and one. We hear a lot about superstition in baseball, but uh, Dick Farrell... As number 13 on the back of his uniform. And the pitch now to Harm Killebrew is long outside. Two and one. Any other National League players wear that number 13, Bob? Yes, uh, Bobby Wine of the Philadelphia Phillies. The only two that we know that wear number 13. And numerology doesn't seem to enter into their lifetime too much. Steve Barber of Baltimore likes number 13. Here's the 2 1 pitch to Killebrew in the dirt, outside and low. Three balls and one strike. Two out, nobody on. And Farrell pitching carefully here to Harm Killebrew has run the count to three and one. Shortstop Mari Wills running in to have a word with the pitcher. Harmon Killebrew, who hit his second all star homer back in the fifth inning, officially is one for two. Farrell, the big right hander, delivers. And it's high. Ball four. And Killebrew gets on. A walk to Harmon, his second walk. All the tying runners on for the American League with two out. And the batter, Rocky Colavito. Rocky one for three today. The Cleveland right fielder is grounded out, singled, and 
ground it out again. And the American League bullpen now, the great knuckleballing relief specialist of the Chicago White Sox, Eddie Fisher, is loosening up. Killebrew at first takes the short lead, and here's the pitch to Colavito, a breaking ball outside. Ball one. Rocky Colavito, who is now doing his second uh, tour with the Cleveland Indians, having started his major league career with Cleveland and traded to Detroit and Kansas City. It's a high fly ball down the third base line. They go foul. Santo and Wills after it, and Santo, the third baseman, grabs it for the third out. One left on for the American League. At the end of seven innings, the score is the National League six, the American League five. Let's say so long to Plymouth's Roaring 65s. Plymouth's 1965 model year is almost over. One of the best sales years Plymouth's ever had. So right now, your Plymouth dealer is throwing one great cleanup party. And your favor is an extra special deal on your favorite Plymouth. Fury. Belvedere. Valiant. Barracuda. Now, if you come to this party early enough, you'll probably get just the color and model you want. But this party can't last. We're cleaning out, and you can clean up. Come to the big cleanup party at your Plymouth dealers now. 